Libra. What it be, bruh? It's it's me, bruh. It's it's she, bruh. It's it's be, bruh. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of December 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who have clicked, liked, shared, and subscribed to this video or any one of my videos. I want to give big love and a big welcome to everyone who is new and everybody else that's been here that's been coming through i want to say big love to you um we've got some new decks that just came in here um to everyone that's been booking personal private readings that have been sending love offerings to the page if any of these videos resonate and you guys just want to you know send a dollar or two or whatever the people that have been sending decks through the amazon wish list Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We got four new decks coming in here that I've seen is coming off of the wish list. It's this like uh, mystery Edgar Allan Poe deck. I cannot wait. I think it should be coming either today or tomorrow. I cannot wait for that to get here. So when we do the um, pick a card daily bridge, y'all will see that rolling out. So I'm just so... I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much. We just recently got the uh, Vintage Keys Cardamancy deck here from um, Law Divination. She is a reader here on YouTube. Shout out to Law Divination. Thank you for putting this beautiful, beautiful deck out. It smells like heaven, you guys. I'm so excited to be receiving these gifts, especially um, to be having some new energy and some new flavor going into the new year. So again, thank you guys so much for the love and support. Libra, you already know what it be. We about to get into the tea. Hun tea. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. We do like green eggs and ham. We do. Okay, with a little smoke prick prika, honey, a little uh, parmesan -y. Okay, come on. Do me. Do me, girl. I thought you knew me. Okay, listen. Listen. You know, we got to give praise and we got to give thanks and we have to give acknowledgement to God, the universe, the creator before we get into anything. Oh, and if you guys would like to book a personal or private reading, um, only thing you need to do is check the description box on this video, check the, um, the, or check the about tab on my YouTube page. It has the pricing list. I only do video readings on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, we can do the video readings on Google Hangouts. The only thing that you need to exchange with me is email. My email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So again, if you don't have Instagram, just shoot me an email and I'll help get you all set up on Google Hangouts. Um... It's a free, easy app to download. Um, after the reading, you can delete it. Um, and let's get into the prayer, you guys. Father God, thank you so much for blessing us with the gift of everyday nourishment and daily bread. Father God, thank you for uplifting us. Thank you so much for keeping us encouraged, Father God. Thank you so much for giving us the wisdom that you did and helping us just to elevate and evolve because a lot of the things that we have done in the past we right now are seeing our growth and we're thanking you so much father god that we made those decisions that are keeping us a balance and keeping us focused right now you already know leave a gang gang would it be you already know what it be father god so we are just like so thankful so thankful for the gift and just the empowerment of just you just being our Lord and our Father, our Savior, our best friend, just our everything, Father God. We are just so, so happy to just be here just hand in hand with you and every day we just pray and we just are so thankful for your gifts and your love, Father God. Um, continue to give us guidance along these steps. Um, allow us to continue to, you know, walk with our head held high and continue to love and respect ourselves and allow that to grow and show in everything that we are and everything that we do, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of Libra for December 2020. Show me the money, energy, Father God. And thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Amen. Let's get to this mud tea. Let's get to it, good. Let's get to it, huh? Let's look, look, I said let's get to the Muncie, girl. Let's get to her. Let's get to she. Let's get to we, girl. Go ahead and put the money on the table, girl. Come on now. Come on now. I already said let's get to the money. Hold on. Uh, Libra said I'm coming through the door. Come on, yes. Go ahead and start it off with the, uh, the door to value. Come on. Come on, Libra. 
Did I just talk it up? Come on. Come on. Let the money come through. <laughs> let it do what it do. Come on, Libra. I already told you. I already told you. You already know what it is. Shout out to my baby girl, Litra. Boom. You know, we got a little money-making millionaire over there. Back to business. We back to collecting the stacks. Back to collecting the racks up. Shout out to all my Leech gang, 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 gang out here. All right. Let's get to it. Father God, give us guidance for Libra. What is this? We got the Healer of Ages here. Let's see what else we got here for Libra. Gang, gang, gang. God is like trying to put this goddamn Monica song in my head when she keeps saying gang gang, but I hate that stupid song. I don't even want to sing it, and you're not even about to put that song in my head because I don't, um, <laughs> fuck, I don't like that song. What is this? Oh, you got cornucopia. Come on, Libra. Okay. Okay, Libra. Okay. 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 We get it. Y'all rich. Y'all fabulous. Y'all paid up. Y'all slayed up. Y'all gonna keep it going and keep it going and keep it going and keep it going. Listen, we got the healer of ages, the door to value, and the cornucopia card here, you guys. This is a lot of positive energy of self-love and wealth. Listen, when you, when you grow, it show. Period. When you grow, it show. When you grow and you evolve and you allow healing to come into your life, when you grow, it show. I do feel like there was a struggle at one point in time because those cards did try to come out. The healer of ages in the cornucopia did try to come. It was struggling. You know what I'm saying? It was struggling. But I still want to put them cards in the upright because that's where they deserve to be. It doesn't matter the struggle. Do you understand? It ain't about how I got here is about where I'm standing and where I'm going. Period. Period. Do you get me? So, we just came off of a beautiful festive Thanksgiving. We got a lot of balance going on in our life. A lot of us are healthy, a little bit too healthy. A lot of us got a little plump, got a little bit of extra juice on the rump, okay? Got a little extra juice on the rump. You're looking a little juicy like Lucy, girl. Listen, I know. I know. Me too, honey. Now, li <laughs> now listen. Especially my girls that can cook. Where my girls that be cooking they ass off? Who was I, who was cooking thine ass off, honey? Listen, listen. Don't listen. Listen. Don't be bringing no hungry men to my house, okay? They ain't gonna wanna leave. But you're gonna have to leave because y'all niggas like, please get the fuck. Get the fuck off. Get off me. Okay, listen, the healer of ages, I know a lot of people be wanting you to come through and heal them, Libra, okay? I know, you, you know, they be coming through with a lot of excuses, Libra, because you got a lot of money, you got a lot of honey, your rump is looking a little yummy, Libra, would it be gang gang, Libra, girl, friend, girl, it's your world, they be wanting you to heal their heart, heal their soul, okay? Heal they scroll. They ain't got no money. They ain't got no bookings on they scroll in the name of Jesus, okay? We all reloaded. Libra. Libra. Okay? You got gift in hands. You got an anointed spirit, girl. You got a blessed soul, girl. Come on, girl. Listen. <laughs> they see all that cash flow and all that... <laughs> And all that ass, though. They see all that cash flow and all that ass, though, Libra. Goddamn, why you get goddamn thick like that, girl? What the hell is you trying to do to these niggas? God, God, listen. Well, I don't know who the hell this is dating a damn Libra. She got a lot of money and she thicker than a snicker. Goddammit. Goddammit. Okay, listen. I just want you to know, Libra, I want you to enjoy your blessings, honey. Enjoy your blessings. I feel like you deserve this. You earned this. It didn't come easy, but the Lord said it was coming. He didn't say it would be easy, but he said it would be worth it. All right? I definitely feel like you have um, a lot of positive energy coming from you with the Healer of Ages right here. I feel like you really do have um, a gifted spirit with yourself. Like, you... Like they're saying biblical, like you, you, I want to say you live your life by the book or at least you're trying to now. You're definitely trying to live your life by the book and 
you're trying to use your inspiration where it rub off on people. You always trying to when you walk away from people, you trying to leave them where they're better than the way than the way that they came to you. Cause that's your spirit, that's your gift, that's your anointment. That's why God is blessing you the way that He is. You know what I'm saying? So continue to allow these blessings, allow these open doors, eat well. You know, be well, drink well, shit, smoke well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, enjoy your blessings. Um, but then at the same time, I want you to understand with that healer of ages card, there's going to be a lot of people that's going to come to you because of your blessings, because of your money, because of the food, because of the, you know, comfort and the wisdom that comes with you. You know what I'm saying? Or just to be able to sit beside you and just say that, yeah, that's my Libra. That's that's my folks. That's you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of gifts that comes with being around you. So it's it's it's. It comes with that balance of discernment. Again, knowing how to give and, and who to give to. Because you can't heal everybody. And, and, and a lot of people always try to come around you when they're broken. Listen, you got the hermit card right here. And you got the death and the reverse. So this is definitely a rebirth time. You guys are definitely in the place of like... They said you're high spirited. You, you're within thine self right now self-education right now like you're steadily learning new things about yourself you don't mind being by yourself right now like you feel comfortable right now um you're seeing like you being relifted you're seeing like those phoenix wings like you're hatching out of the shell like you know like those wings are starting to spread and the fire is starting to light up and you you know what i'm saying you just like damn yeah, like I'm on fire. It's like I'm on fire. <laughs> like remember the phoenix is fire. It's on fire. They're a fire bird. You know? Ooh. I remember back in the day, I always wanted me a candy red fire bird, man. Oh my god. I loved Mustangs, Firebirds, Muscle Cars. Like my dad, that's just how my dad was. Mustangs, 5.0s, Firebirds. What is it? Is it Thunderbirds? Firebirds, Thunderbirds, whatever the fuck you call them. Thunderbirds, whatever the fuck you used to call them cars. But I'm seeing a lot of, um, it's like you revving, you slowly coming up out of your cave, out of your seclusion. And it's like you're stretching those wings out and the motherfuckers is booming on fire and it's like vroom, vroom. you revving that engine up like you know how niggas be with the muscle cars like vroom, vroom, skirt, it's gonna be gone like i swear to god like i swear i feel like some shit about to bust open and take off like they ain't about to see your ass coming like you've been in this seclusion but you've been working on yourself like you've been working on your gifts you've been working on your spirituality like you've been collecting your money you've been eating well i'm trying to tell you like they not gonna listen i don't think they ready for this jelly i don't think they i don't think they ready girl that body gonna be so booty delicious girl they is not gonna be able to take you they is not gonna be able to mistake you girl i'm so serious about it like sometimes you need that little bit of time to yourself to Play a little make-believe in the house. You know, play around in your makeup. Play around with some hair dyes. Come out with a new cut, a new color, a brand new attitude, a new swagger like Mick Jagger, honey. You got to give them all that a little sugar spice and everything nice, honey. You got to give them a little sour patch, kid. This season, honey, baby, I'm sour and I'm sweet. What, look, what side you want to meet, baby? I'm a tasty treat. Come on, bars. <laughs> bars. Come on, y'all. Give it to them. Don't play with these people to see the 2021. <laughs> we can have some fun. Oh, it only just begun. Oh, we just start. Wait, Libra, it's just begun, honey. It's just begun. Tell them, honey, we just stepping on the streets, boo boo. <laughs> Let me show you what it do. Let me show you how it work. Let me show you how to twerk, 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 twerk. Come on. I'm about to really show it. I'm about to show you a get money bitch that eat, collect coins, and looks good doing it. Come on now, Libra. Look at this eight of swords. You better get that. Eight of 
was just like, can't nobody get with you, baby. You ain't got nothing holding you back, nothing entrapping you. You don't feel a slave to nothing, nobody, nothing, Nathan, Nathaniel, Nance Firm, not a nim, not a fucker. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? This is you letting go. You are releasing. I'm trying to tell you. It's like you busting out of the seams. Like you done broke out of prison. Uh, do you understand? You done got your release papers and you ain't never looking back. I don't know who the fuck that was that was back up in there trapped up when I was locked up. They won't let me out, no, bitch. Okay, no, I'm released myself. So, like, again, this is, again, like, you guys being withdrawn, being within, being secluded, even being in a position where mentally you felt like you couldn't, you weren't ready to come out. You wasn't ready to step out in the public. Huh. What we got going on with y'all, Libra? What is this? The Nine of Wands in the reverse. So, it's like... You've been in this position before. You understand the struggle. You know that, like, in every stage in the journey... It's like you're going to have to get up and fight again. So, it's like you just needed your rest, really. You know? I feel like you just needed your rest, really. You needed to get dressed silly. You need to get, uh, get silly, get silly. I feel like you needed to get dressed differently. It's like, number one, this is a different stage. This time we come to play hard. I feel like you got, oh, they say y'all punk rocker. Like y'all been, oh, no, no, no. Because y'all know I've been listening to what I was listening to the other day. I am a arms dealer. And then you with something. Oh, what song is that? Um, oh, what is that song? Uh, um, oh, how the hook go? Uh, arms raise up. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I can't forget. I forget what song it is and what band it is. Back it, arms race. It's like it's an arms race. It's an arms race. It's like. If you guys want to play war, you want to play rough, you guys want to play rough, you want to play rough, then I'll be the fucking arms dealer. Like, I'm not going to play war with you, but I'll give you what you need so you can fucking destroy yourselves out this bitch. Like, that's what, look, you can't, like, what, what, what does <laughs> Snoop Dogg say? One thing, you, 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 you can't play with boxing and you can't play with this pimping. Listen, I'm not going to. Play, I'm not gonna play fair with y'all this season. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I I'm not I'm not fighting with y'all this season. Do you understand? But I will be your arms dealer. <laughs> I will be your arms dealer. Cause this is an arms race at this time. Okay. Oh, what's up? I wish I could remember the fucking hook. Why is it not coming out of me? I'm so fucking mad right now. It's like Oh my God, y'all not playing fair this season. I don't have to protect myself. I'm the arms dealer. Y'all come to me to get armed up. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not fighting no more. I'm not fighting no more this season. It's a fucking arms race. Unless your gun's bigger than mine, then we can talk about some shit. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like, honey, I got clientele. <laughs> I got clientele. I got clientele. You got the magician in the reverse. So I don't know. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. So the magician in the reverse. So just be mindful of. We say be mindful of the energy you claim and stuff like that. Because I really do feel like there is someone that like the. It's like. It's not a negative thing. But. It's just like I'm smarter than the rest. I really don't like to use my gifts in the negative way. But sometimes you got to outsmart the competitor. Because people think that just because you haven't seen me in a minute that I'm weak. Because it's something about because you haven't been seen and you played ghost. Like you've been like ghost. It's like you've been in the house making money, building on yourself, doing what you want to do type of thing. It's like, don't think that I'm not armed. Don't think that I don't have my own strength and my own powers. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the magician in the reverse is like, 
at the end of the day, don't think that I'm weak. Don't think that I don't know how, don't think that, don't think that I don't know how to use my skills. Period. And then this is to also tell you guys, as you're being rebirthed and you're coming out of, out of seclusion, just be aware of, just always be aware because... There can very much so be people that think that you're just, oh, just this spiritual person. Oh, this person in the spirituality now. Blah, 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 blah. You know, this motherfucker don't, it's not the way that they used to be. You know what I'm saying? This person been releasing all on this old spiritual shit like that. The Nine of Wands is like, could be someone that. Is tired, weak, or oh, they say a magician, they don't really know how to do any magic. They don't really have no skills. They don't know what they're doing. They're powerless, or you know what I'm saying? They're they're they can feel like their magic is like they're more skilled than you, or something like that. Like you're defenseless, or something like that. So I don't feel like it. I don't feel like that at all. Cause like I said, y'all say y'all the arms dealer. <laughs> So, it's like I'm the one that people come to for healing and empowerment. I'm, I'm on a different level. I'm on a different level. And I really do feel like it's a very positive thing where you don't feel like you have to protect yourself. And you don't even feel like you need to use magic at this point. I feel like blessings and gifts and things come to you naturally where you don't even have to use your power. But at the same time. Don't think I won't reach down and use my resources if motherfuckers play with me. I definitely feel like that because at the end of the day, I'm an arms dealer at this point. I'm not even about to sit here and argue with you and fight with you and talk shit with you. It's a fucking arms race. Damn, they keep trying to make, sing this fucking song on my head. God, and this song cracks so much. Oh, that shit cracks so much. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta keep going. Because they're going to keep trying to sing this song to me, bro. Because it's like, he's like, saying he's an arm dealer. And he, he's, he's arming people with words. You know what I'm saying? He's arming people with, with words. And he's saying this is an arms race. Gosh, I'm, it's, ooh, ooh, ooh. What is this? You got opposition. Oh. And you got duration. Uh. So they said that's why you've been staying to yourself. Because you know motherfuckers be on that bullshit. For real, for real. People is, I feel like people is jealous of your money. They jealous of the way that you came up. It's like you on this spiritual kick now. And... I feel like people think that you be on some old hoodoo voodoo shit like you be doing some magic shit you don't like this is like God's blessing like you really just been doing the right thing and I feel like you've been healing people in yourself that's what you've been inside doing you ain't even been doing anything else you don't even be into all of this magic bullshit but that don't mean that you're not and just because there are people out there that do be on that little low vibrational bullshit, that don't mean that they're more powerful than you because there's no power more than powerful than God, period. Whatever deity or whatever the fuck these motherfuckers are being to, that, that shit ain't more powerful than God. Like, what you mean? <laughs> like, God is the creator of it all. That's why when I say the universe, I ain't talking about nobody but God. So, like, I always tell people, I don't know who the fuck everybody else praying to, who they talking to. When I say God, I mean the universe. He is the universe. He is the creator of all. Do you understand? So, I definitely feel like there's someone here that you just too much, you just, you too much for motherfuckers. Do you understand what I'm saying? And there is some opposition here. There is some opponents because I feel like you don't have to go on no low vibrational bullshit to get your blessings. You just doing what the fuck you supposed to do. You stay to yourself. You stay the fuck out the way. You focus on healing yourself and others, transforming yourself. And that's the only way that you can even help other people is if you transform your fucking self. You got to see them doors opening up for yourself. You got to see them gifts open up to yourself you got to be able to put bread on your old table so you can show people listen i am 
the example. I I, I am I, my my life is a testimony to everything that God is trying to show you. They're showing you through me. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I I I just live life by the book. I ain't gotta do all this hocus pocus shit. I don't I don't have to walk around. You know what I'm saying? With protection and shit like that, cause I'm arming people with words. You know what I'm saying? With some spiritual shit that's way powerful. That's <laughs> way that 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 it more than anything that you can have, baby. It's nothing that you can say. No, there ain't nothing that you could do that could hurt me. What I could get in my way of my blessing. There is no opponents. Only opponent is myself. And that's why y'all matter. That's why y'all mad. You understand what I'm saying? I will constantly transform myself. I will not limit myself with this eight of swords in the reverse. Like, you see me face the devil and conquer him and come out swinging and come out winning. You understand? I don't even got to watch my back. That's why y'all mad. You know? With this, it's like this duration right here. Consistency, continuance, endurance, perseverance, maturity, uh, strength, stability, deep commitment. Listen, you're, you're able to... Continue to be successful through all seasons for a reason. That ain't no magic. That ain't no hocus pocus. None of that shit. I don't have to watch my back. I don't have to worry about no motherfucker body but myself. And that's the reason why I stay successful and I stay committed to myself. And I keep reclaiming victory over and over and over and over again. Regardless of whoever the opponent is, I don't give a fuck what y'all doing. You understand what I'm saying? Because God told me, listen, it ain't going to be easy. He ain't never told me it wasn't going to be people that wasn't going to talk shit about me. People that weren't going to try put spells on me, cast negative energy on me, try to tell me I'm weak, trying to tell me I don't know what I'm doing, trying to tell me, bitch, you can suck appendix. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. And I'm spiritual. I'm going to tell you to kiss my whole fucking rabbit ass. The fuck? Like I said, I'm not about to. I'm not about to fight with y'all. I'm the arms dealer. I send somebody to get with you. I ain't even got. I got clientele. <laughs> I got clientele. I ain't gotta play with y'all. The fuck? Spiritual gangster. Like I'm not about to play with none of y'all. The fuck? I send a messenger to my fucking. Uh, yeah, I send a messenger. <laughs> I'm not about to get my hands dirty with y'all in this bullshit. The fuck I get out of jail to be dealing with <laughs> Libra. I hate y'all. <laughs> Libra be on some gangster shit. Because it's like, whatever y'all just got out of, it don't matter. I'm not literally saying y'all got out of jail or nothing, but whatever the fuck you just came out of, it's like, man, I ain't mentally come out of this bullshit to be out here with this booty poop. Candy ass bullshit. This shit is stupid, man. Man, go holler at one of my folks and tell them to tell you it's wise for you to leave me the fuck alone. Alright? I'll come and smack the shit out you for real on God. Listen, the five of arrow is frustration before I come over there and smack the whole fucking shit out with you, bruh. Like on oh, God. I don't do competition. I'm not about to be out here fucking around with y'all. Period. Y'all fighting with yourselves. Do you understand what I'm saying? Period. I'm out here creating winners. Like, this is like, say you be on some spiritual shit or whatever. Like, say y'all a reader, right? <laughs> and you got a motherfucker jealous and hating on you because you a reader and you be on your shit, you know, and like you may be mentoring. Like, they worried about you, but you need to be worried about the competition that I'm creating because I got a whole group of people that, like, you worried about me, man. You need to worry about my little youngins that's about to come out here and, 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 and really be on some high vibrational, real, real stuff. Because y'all other motherfuckers, y'all be talking that bullshit for real. Like, we really about to come out here and do God's work. So, like, I'm an arms dealer. So, like, for real, I'm about to... Because it's like I'm training my warriors to come and shut all of this fake spiritualism, this fake bullshit, all of this stuff down. Because, like, y'all be out here spreading lies and foolishness and negative vibration, negative, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's like this, this, this hermit over here, Libra over here with this hermit shit, it's like... This is real spirituality, real, real people that be on that real vibrational shit. 
vibrational shit. Like they stated they self. You understand? Like they not out here chasing money. They not out here chasing gifts. They not out here chasing wealth. They ain't out here chasing men. They're out here chasing inner self transformation and rebirth. Facing their own addictions, facing their own inner demons, and that's why they're blessed. That's the only way you're going to get blessings. Not all this hocus pocus, dumbass, foolish bullshit. That's the bullshit y'all be on, and guess what I'm sending my yeah, I got my warriors. Like I told you, I'm an arms dealer. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not even about to fucking play with y'all. I'm about to send my little youngins out to y'all. Straight like that. Gang, gang. <laughs> y'all, stop it. Listen, the three listen, the three swords in the reverse. Like, I ain't even fucking, I'm not even mad at y'all. Y'all jealous. Listen, they jealous that you leave her. I did these motherfuckers. Listen, I'm going to give you something to be jealous about. Let's give them something to talk about. Come on, Libra. Come on. Hey, let's give them something to talk about about let's give them something to be mad about honey honey let's give them something to be funny about let's give them something to laugh about let's give them something to joe let's look, 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 look let's have a good time here we can have a good time <laughs> hold on <laughs> Why am I getting lovely tea? Lovely tea. Today I got time, cuz. Hey, today I got time, cuz. Hey, today I got time, cuz. Yeah, we can shoot it out. We can shoot it out. You understand? Cuz for real, y'all just jealous, and I'm about to just arm people with the truth. I feel like at the end of the day, what these cards is basically telling me is like, I'm attacking, I'm attacking. And I'm standing up and I'm facing and I'm backing down anybody that's coming to me with some bullshit because they mad that I'm doing something that they couldn't do. Bottom line. Like only competition I have is myself and I don't even bother lowering myself to address anyone <laughs> that's coming at me with any type of jealousy or anything like that. Period. I don't give a fuck about your man. I don't give a fuck about your problems. I don't give a fuck about your relationship. I don't give a fuck about how you think, who you think that I think that I am. No, bitch, you think that I think that I'm the shit. Bitch, you think you like me. You're a fan. Bitch, you're bearing witness to my blessings and you're mad. Bitch, you, you, you. You need to fix you and get the fuck off of me. Bitch, next. The fuck out of here. Libra, y'all always be having me cussing somebody the fuck out. Like, y'all get on my nerves, huh? What is this? The eight of bows in... <laughs> <laughs> the eight of bur eight of bows in reverse. That's why I don't be talking to you. Okay? That's why I don't hang around you with the eight of wands in the reverse. That's why I be slowing down from like even putting myself in the same because that's why I don't put myself on the same level as y'all hoes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Cause every time you lower yourself and try to act like you are, cause I feel like this is someone that be trying to be in some group setting, trying to uh, have some like camaraderie or something with somebody. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> no, no. It's like the Eight of Wands is like blockages getting in the way of everything that you worked hard for. So it's like every time that you pay attention to what people are talking about and saying about you, Libra, or people being jealous and you like that's that that's like me okay i'm a reader clearly i i i have to deal with trolls and stuff you know what i'm saying and i don't know these people these people don't know me i don't know why they come and say hateful mean things in my comments and things like that and I don't know if it's jealousy or just retardation. Um, some people are special bus. You know, they were sitting in the back of the slow bus, licking the window. You know what I'm saying? On the ride to, you know, the special needs school. So, you know, you got to say, you know, bless those people. And, you know, and that's no disrespect to nobody that's special needs. But, no, some people need help. They need a special, extra special assistance. See, do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, everybody on the bus wasn't licking the back of the window, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay? Everybody 
bus was not licking the fucking window. So, bitch, okay? Smelling their fingers and doing weird shit, bitch. So you cannot put yourself on a level with Slow Mo Joe. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, why are you even paying attention when special needs need had to say? Why are you even, like, don't even pay them attention? That's just, like, just block them. Just ignore them. Do not even lower yourself to listen to what they're saying about you because it means nothing. 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 You're not doing anything but blocking your blessings, Libra, and allowing, you know, the victory that is yours slow down. So don't. And it's only slowing down because, like I said, can't nobody stop you or fuck with you but you. Period. Period. So y'all do have some type of opposition right here. It says opposition, opposite views, personal differences, um, communication gap, disharmony, misunderstand, misunderstandings, estrangement. So it's like you might be a little bit different. Good. I don't be wanting to be like motherfuckers. Bitch, I'm a trendsetter. Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. Bitch, I create the competition. Like, what's what I mean? I ain't got it to do. Okay, let's get over here to love. Okay, because y'all listen. <laughs> y'all like these hoes. Big jealous reds. Like, listen, you picked right up on it. They mad because of the, the duration. I've been out here getting it like a motherfucker. Okay, all right. By myself. <laughs> Hello, let me give you your boobs. Boop, okay, bitch. <laughs> let me give you your boobs. Listen, come on, Reds. I'm sitting up in this bitch like Queen Victoria, girl. Listen, like my hot Gandhi, okay? Oh, and I'm all spiritual and wisdom. <laughs> and wisdomical. Okay, bitch, that ain't a word. Wisdomical ain't a word. That is definitely, I don't, I don't even know where that came from. Bless me. Bless me. <laughs> Bless me. Okay, listen. <laughs> Whistlemical. Okay, listen. Queen Victoria. Okay, y'all said, y'all just said, I shall remain queen. <laughs> and that is what these hoes shall understand. Yes, ma'am. It said, I would venture to warn against too great intimacy with artists as it is very seductive and a little dangerous. So listen, I know y'all be out there wanting to date them rock stars and everything like that. The real popular ones. The ones that be real gangster. The ones that be real with it. You know? Y'all, mm-mm. It's just... Ugh. I get it, y'all. Oh my God, child. Oh Lord, I just had a, I just had a flashback. Hold on, Father, help me. Hold on, oh, hold on, Jesus, Lord. I know what. It, oh Lord, help me. Okay, so again, I would venture to warn against too great intimacy with artists, as it is very seductive and a little dangerous. No girl would go to the altar if she knew all. Okay, I would have never married. I would have never gave that nigga none of this good juicy. Okay, I was out there looking like Lucy. I'd have never gave him this good. I would have never gave him the taste of this snicker. Oh, fuck it, girl. See, I swear. Didn't I didn't tell you I was having a flashback. Let me bring it back around. I'm reloaded. Hold on. Okay, so it said the important thing is not. What they think of me, but what I think of them. Come on, come on, Miss Queen Victoria. Come on, girl. I knew I liked you, girl. Come on through. Look, and I told you she got that good pussy. You see all them damn kids? Don't listen. I'm trying to tell you if you got a whole bunch of kids, Libra. If you got a whole bunch of kids, girls, because you got that good splash. Do you understand what I'm saying? This splash mountain. Hello. Come on. Where's my splash? Come on. Where's my unicorn guy? Where's the splash mountain unicorn pink power ranger pussy guy? Where y'all been at? Where y'all? Y'all in the building. That's why you got all them churn over there, Libra gang. Good Lord. It says, listen, again, I would warn against too great an intimacy with artists as it is very seductive and a little dangerous. No girl would go to the altar if she knew all. All right. The important thing is not what they think of me, but what the fuck I think of them. Next. Okay. Come on. Mahatma. Magandhi. Uh-huh. Gandhi. Okay, bitch. It says, where you find life, there is love. Come on, with your bald head, with your little wrinkly bald head. Oh, I do want, listen, can I just, 
Can I give him your boobs? I just want to rub his head a little bit. I'm sorry. Was that inappropriate? Uh, okay. Okay, it says happiness is where you are in harmony with your soul. Come on. Shalala. Shalala. Come on, Gandhi. It says forgiveness <laughs> is the sign of strength. He's right. Forgiveness is the sign of strength, ladies and gents. It is the it is the weak who 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 I can't even talk. <laughs> okay, it is the weak who cannot forgive. Come on, y'all, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Hey, everything gonna work out right, you know. And let go. Ooh, come on, Gonzé. Listen, y'all better go ahead and spit that, like you read that. Spit that like you read that. Bars. Again, y'all better stop playing. Okay, I'll be playing too much. This is why my videos be so long. Okay, listen. <laughs> and for my spiritual people out here, and like I said, you armoring. Listen, you, listen, you getting your squad armored up with the words and the spirit and the sanctuarianism. Okay, that ain't a word neither. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. Louisa, girl, you're telling them, you saying, look, okay, I'm giving you the power and the strength and the anointment of God. Let me give you these spiritual words so you can be free and let freedom let you go. We're going to let it flow. Okay, again, where you find life, there is love, shalala. Happiness is where you find harmony with your soul in the name of Jesus. Ain't that what we've been preaching over here? And ain't that what we told y'all? Y'all want to be over here on this hocus pocus shit? That ain't spiritualism. That's the devil. That's Judas. Okay, bitch? That's Judas. Okay? I'm sorry. Forgiveness is the sign of strength. It is the weak who cannot forgive. It is the weak who goes over there to them people who imprison them with magic and hocus pocus. Nope this. No to this. Say no to this. Say I don't even know this man. Say no to this. Do you understand? Say no to this in the name of Jesus and let yourself be free with wisdom. Do you hear me? Why am I clowning? Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. Okay? Like Miss Sophia said, calm down, okay? Bitch, this is not, this is not fucking comedy night at the Apollo. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me today in the name Jesus, Libra. I don't know why y'all do this to me. What you do to me? Watch out, bitch. You about to fall in love. It's okay, because y'all gonna fall in love with me. It's okay, because y'all just gonna come back for more. It's all right. Cause just, that's why y'all love me. It's okay. That's why y'all loved in me. That is why y'all loved in me. Okay, come on, Libra. Ooh! Come on, the lovers. Come on, Miss Juicy Fruit. Juicy Fruit. Da -da -da -da. Come on. I told you got that unicorn puss. Juicy. Come on, Miss Unicorn Puss. Come on. The lovers. That's why all this love and this blessing and this anointment and this shalalahness is coming into your life in the name of Jesus. Come on now, shalalah. Can we praise him? Can we praise Jesus? That's why we do things the righter way, the brighter way, the brighter way. You ain't got nothing else to say here in the name of Jesus. Come on, shalalah. You ain't even got to say no more, okay? Come on. That's why you got all them kids. Listen, that's why you about to have all these kids, Libra. Don't be mad if you be popping out a couple set of twins, okay? Little double mint twins, Libra. Libra, what it be, bro? You already know. Girl, listen. Mm-mm. 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 You niggas be wanting to go to sleep and marinate up in that good stuff, girl. Mm-mm. They said you taste like the pink Skittles, the pink Starburst, the pink one. The pink one, okay? The pink one. Okay, girl. The one that they tear through the pack to get through, okay? The pink Starburst, okay? They had to make a whole pack of Starburst of just the pink one. Because that's the one that they've been looking for. That's who they've been searching for. Girl, and it's you! Okay, girl, let me say, Oh, the key on the ring. Oh, mm -mm, hold on. You said many options. Decisions, uncle. Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, man. Okay, now, unless you got a lot of options and keys on your ring, you got a lot of places that you got access to, Libra. Come on, now. Listen, I ain't no hoe, but I know where to go. Come on, now. <laughs> listen, I, listen, I ain't no hoe, 
but I know where to go. I got a couple of places I got a little <laughs> access to. Listen, I could get in my Mustang and do a little roll, roll. Okay, pull off. I got a couple places I could pull off. Listen, I got a couple of people trying to talk to me. I got a couple places I could pull off. So I got a little options right now. All right, all right. And do a little drive-by fruiting. Boop, hit him in the head just like that. Okay, bitch, hold on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hold on. Uh, 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 uh. What's this? Ooh, Cupid's arrow. Listen, I told you I'm trying to shoot some good shit out here, honey. Some good shit coming back, too. Got me a couple of little jokes on my line. Got, ooh, and then you got the... Ooh, hold on, girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ooh, listen, I told him I had to transform a little bit. Had to give him a little cut, a new color. Okay, they was like, hold on, is that Libra? Yeah, it's me, you know. Got a little shortcut. Going a little, you know, honey blonde this season with the dark roots. Yeah, it's a wig. But you know. Mm-hmm. You know, girl, I got, you know, that natural stuff underneath. I'm letting it. This is a protective style, you know. I'm sorry. You know, I got to give him a little transformation station, girlfriend. You know how I do, girl. <laughs> I gotta give him something new. Gotta give him something to do, honey. <laughs> give a little bit of different flavor, like a lifesaver every day, girlfriend. You know, <laughs> I gotta hammer this shit into these motherfuckers' head. I'm different. Mm, I'm different. Pull up to the scene with my son and miss here. Pull up to the scene with my son and miss <laughs> Who got that drop top Mustang? Hold on. I told you you'd be pulling up. I got some places to go. I got a few people. <laughs> That's what we talking about. A little girl talk, girl. You know, a little gossip a little bit. You know, girl. <laughs> girl, you know. <laughs> Had to let these motherfuckers know, girl. Listen, ooh. I told you. I'm the pink one. I am the pink fucking juicy fruit. I am the star. <clears throat> Bitch, you is going to stop playing with me this season. For a reason. Y'all going to stop playing with... Listen... Leave about to hammer this shit into your head. We got options out here. We out here like Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, we is spreading the word of spiritualism and love and self-love. And we loving ourselves. And we, listen, we loving our wealth. And that's why all this beautifulness is around us. Okay, girl? We got options and shit. We coming out looking good, all revved up. Little Phoenix energy out here. We spicy. A little titty shake for him real quick. Girl, all right? Little redhead, like drop dead Fred. Girl, don't you play with me. I got him dropping. Girl, this shit ain't stopping. We told you we gonna do this shit for the whole duration of 2021. And then some. We eating on dim sum. Y'all don't do me. Bars. Again. What the fuck is y'all talking about around here? Okay, sitting around like Queen Victoria. Girl. Excuse me. Check my facts. Yes, come on. Is this the star? No, this is the three of wands. Look, but you looking at the star. Listen, I, look, I knew that they had to be a better place set for me. Um, Reds. Huh. I'm out here looking and praying on stars, trusting my intuition, looking at that moon. And I know my blessings is coming soon. Huh. And shit gonna be a boom. Who is this here? This is the king of wands. Oh, baby. Baby, 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 baby. Don't you know that you're so fine? Oh, baby, baby, baby. Oh, yes. Mm, mm. I guess it's hard to say, baby, baby. <laughs> How you make me feel when you come to mind? Oh, hold on. I can't keep my cool. Listen, I can't hold it inside. Hold on. <laughs> Can I come over there and talk to you? Is that the one that y'all been dreaming? That's the one that y'all been waiting on? <laughs> okay. That fire sign energy. Y'all better stop it here. Oh, and then you got the high priestess in the reverse. In the reverse. So, girl, listen. Listen to me, Tony. Listen to me. You've been holding something back from me. Is it someone that you already been talking to? There's something that I don't know already. What you've been doing? You've been already talking to him and you've been in the house. You already met this person online. Well, you did, girl. I already know it. You got some secrets in that book, girl. You haven't been telling me something, Libra. I'm gonna get you. You know, I'm gonna find out, Libra, why you didn't tell me about this man, Libra. What the fuck is going on, Libra? Oh, oh. She said I wasn't ready yet. Listen, I wasn't ready to, you know. 
Listen, I just got over a fucking divorce, a breakup, and stuff like that. A mistake up. Yes, a mistake up. A little breakup, a little mistake up, girl. Listen, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to let this motherfucker in my home and, like, in my space, in my place, you know. Meaning my mind and my energy and shit like that girl that's why i've been keeping that shit a secret girl i've been you know holding that shit down because you know i'm trying to check this motherfucker out listen i'm waiting to see what the fuck happened here listen because you see how she got that dog right there honey i don't want no dog but i definitely want me some commitment and loyalty <laughs> i need me someone that's going to spoil me with some good dick okay and some devotion and passion passion mm-hmm I want this Cupid earth to hit him. And I mean to hit him and really get him. I want to bro 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 I want that shit to be hammered. Okay? I want to hit that shit hard. Ooh. And y'all know the King of Wands hit hard too. Honey, let me try to tell y'all something. The King of Wands. <laughs> Girl, that's the one that you've been reading about, girl, and them books and stuff that you've been in there reading by yourself and all that stuff with your high priestess stuff and everything. You know, you all magical and everything. You don't manifested this beautiful man and stuff like that, all mature and um equipped. <laughs> okay, you know this uh sports season. So only thing you gotta do, listen. Listen to me, Libra. I know you ain't, ain't, ain't in the sports and stuff. Get in the sports. This man likes sports. It's football. Watch football with him. Cook him some good food. He gonna be happy. Put some sexy shit on. He love that shit. Okay, do active stuff with him. He like to do active, cute stuff. And he like a cute ass bitch that <laughs> be doing her thing. You already know what to do, Libra. You already know what to do. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Libra. I love it. I am loving it. So I'm going. Y'all hit the like button. If y'all wanna hit it, if y'all wanna hit me up for a reading, you know, check the description and all that stuff. I'm gonna let y'all marinate with this and then, you know, be blessed. Okay. Bye. <laughs>